good morning ani ma'am teachers all my dear children so today we are back with another tour but this time we are going to take you abroad okay so waiting for uh, the tour right now this pandemic had proven that we can't step out of our houses we can't move out but the school has taken a wonderful initiative and we are taking you to different tours yesterday we uh, visited different places in the country now today we'll go outside the country let's move towards the tour international tour hi students good morning before we start this amazing journey i would like to know from all of you that what kind of travelers are you i in the sense what kind of places do you like to visit yes divya yes see ma'am i'm here no problem yes i like to i like to visit monuments actually very old monuments which have a lot of details about ancient civilizations and i'm waiting to go to abroad to see machu picchu actually okay okay what else anyone else carry on sir so i see different choices of different students but i also see some of them not having any choice are you sure you want to sit back at home at this point of time right okay are you ready to come along i promise that i will make this trip an exciting and wonderful trip so now before we start this journey i would like to know what are the things we need to plan or carry with ourselves before leaving on a trip luggage Yes. What is passport? Passport. Passport. Visa. 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 Passport. Visa. Visa. What about the guide and tour? Sir, yes, even the uh, uh, airplane tickets, which is the main. Sir, even the so, boarding sir, pass. For this. For boarding this pass. Time. Boarding. Okay. Boarding pass, sir. And Shivam, no, sir, sir, surprisingly, yes. some children are sitting with their passport. The children who are sitting with passport can can you show just pick up your passport yes, and show how many of you are sitting with the passport? Yes. See, they are okay, so, so well. We are ready to go. They are. We are ready to go. Okay. And one more thing which you forgot about that is the most important thing: looking at our pockets. Yes. Sir. Yes, the wallet is very important. Yes, but here we did not worry about the planning. right country's currency yes sir no sir but country's currency <laughs> Hang on, children. Before going to this place, you need to solve a trivia. So the trivia is: there is a myth saying that this place can be seen through our naked eyes from the moon. Any guesses, children? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. 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 Y
they look straight but they are actually not so the That's same wrong. goes for our great wall of china great wall of china though seems to be a great wall in fact these are the many small structures joined together forming into one big great wall it is the longest man made structures children well now the question is how many years did it take or would have taken to build this place or who might have built it well children it is quite astonishing astonishing to know that different dynasties came along built it destroyed it even again rebuilt and it took almost 1800 years to build this great wall of china you can see the massive structure children well now who has built it any answer any guesses who might have built it with the chinese dynasty ma'am the ming dynasty ma'am the prisoners ma'am the prisoners exactly exactly very good very good it was built by the prisoners it was built by the prisoners so during those days prisoners were given the task to build this wall as a part of their punishment this peasant also thank you amok for your input the great wall is a chinese icon it shows us not only china's culture china's architecture of creativity it is a must visit attraction okay now there is another myth revolving around the great wall of china it is said that about 1 million prisoners died while building the great wall and due to this it is regarded that the place is haunted too well 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 don't get i mean don't be afraid and if you are getting goosebumps we have solution for everything right human brains a ritual is followed to keep the fear at bay bhai roast the grieving the grieving family members who are you know who were, had died during the construction of the wall would walk the length of it with the rooster in tow another amazing fact of this great wall is that sticky rice floor was used to help fix the the great wall of china is just ticked and like thanos it is invincible and to quote mr mao until you reach the great wall you are no hero so you want to be a hero you must visit this great wall of china and perhaps it is the most powerful advertising words in the history that has come from the poetic pen of mr mao see the massive structure children built by the prisoners as uh, someone said by the pigeon so just imagine the bricks been stuck by the rice flour how much uh, during that particular time human brains how it worked hang on children so we are heading towards our next location but as you know a trivia needs to be solved the trivia for this place is it's a symbol of love and the only wonder among the seven wonders which we have any guesses yes uh, where are we going taj uh, where sir think taj mahal taj mahal taj mahal excellent excellent yes it's told which only we have we have only taj mahal so it was very easy correct this was this was an easy one right Isn't it very beautiful, children? It's a symbol of love. It was built by Shah Jahan in the memory of his beloved wife Mumtaz. It has Islamic calligraphy 
inscriptions all over the places in Agra. Students, the moment you enter the main way, the calligraphic inscriptions in Arabic are the texts from Quran, which says that, O oh soul, you are at rest, return to the Lord at peace with him and he at peace with you. People usually say that Shah Jahan intended to build another black Taj Mahal across the river, but the war with the sun interrupted his plans. Let me tell you some awe striking facts about this beauty structure. The structure of Taj Mahal is in the shape of an onion dome, which is about 35 meters. The architecture of Taj Mahal is a combination of Islamic, Persian, and Indian style. It is estimated that the construction project had 22,000 laborers and 1,000 elephants working on the side. Then, the stones of the Musulman were ripped off from the walls by the British army during 1857 rebellion. Also, the wooden structures which would have collapsed if it wasn't situated on the banks of the Yamuna River, which has helped to keep the bay strong and moist for centuries now. So children, if you have visited Taj Mahal during the day, at what time do you visit? Do you actually know that Taj Mahal changes color during different times of the day? During morning, it appears to be pinkish, milky white in the evening and golden at night, well illuminated by the moonlight. Isn't this strange and amazingly beautiful? It is said that, like it shows the changing moods of his wife. Students, do you see the four pillars outside? Do they look straight? No, instead they are actually constructed to fall outwards in case of a collapse to prevent them falling on the top. See, the pillars are outstretched. Okay, so before moving to another destination, let me ask you this trivia. Okay, this place was designated as the World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1983 and it is a symbol of Incan Empire built around 1450 AD. So, which place is it? This Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu in Peru. Peru. Machu Picchu. I want to say so wonderful. Miss Machu Picchu in Peru. Machu Picchu in Peru. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, let's continue. Machu Picchu is more than 7,000 feet above sea level in the Andes Mountains. In the Quechua Indian language, Machu Picchu means old peak or old mountain. Machu Picchu is made up of more than 150 buildings ranging from baths and houses to temples and sanctuaries. There are different theories that exist about this place. One of them is its purpose, a royal estate and a secret ceremonial center among them. Machu Picchu was only known to the locals until Yale Professor Hiram Bingham who discovered the site in 1911. His book, The Lost City of Incas, was based on this finding. It's a wonderful site to look at. And now we will arrive at the place. So, do you see the stone structures here, students? Yes, have, do you see how these stones have been kept? 
the structures were so well built with a technique called ashla that not even a knife blade can cut between these things and till now these structures are protected from earthquake because of the same reason machu picchu was an astronomical observatory and its sacred ikki guha kana can accurately indicate the two equinoxes twice a year the sun directly sets over the stone without casting a shadow it was destroyed by spanish conquest machu picchu was hidden location invisible from below and not found so can you tell in marvel movie who had that invisible path right Yes, who had that invisible ah, power? Thanos. Thanos. Miss Christ, did Marin read the Rio? Christ, did Rio read the Rio? Miss Christ, did Red Marin Rio or Brazil? No, I think Rio did the Rio. No, no, no. Miss, I have a fact of about Machu Picchu. Okay, we'll hear that later. We'll hear that later after we finish. Okay, let's continue. Dear students, Brazil is the country which is famous for two things. one is for the football and which is the another one yes the another one is christ the redeemer in rio de janeiro Congress, there is the corcovado mountain a topic speed christ the redeemer is made up of reinforced concrete and has outer shell of 6 million four stone tiles do you know when the workers who were making this christ the redeemer they used to write the notes on the back if you are lucky enough you may find some of them since this statue is basically kept at mount us top position it prone to like things like and it get hit around 3 to 6 times a year children during fifa world cup 2014 it was struck by a lightning and one of the thumb of the statue was broken the original statue what you see right now was not the same it was intended or the christ to hold a globe in one hand and cross in the other rather than these two open arms even though the statue is in brazil but it was not built in brazil it was built in france by the french sculptor paul landowski created the statue in clayley pieces this statue was built in 1922 and it took 10 years and 250000 usd It is one of the largest statue of Jesus and the tallest art deco statue in the world. The most interesting fact is you can see the staircases but visitors are not allowed. Once you go over there a very special magical moment comes and the cloud goes through the mountain it disappears and you seem to flow in the sky. This place offers fantastic Jenitaur. Okay now to move on to the next one. This place is 13th century by the Mayan civilization. Children can you guess the name? सर इट इज चिचन इन मेक्सिको चिचन इज्जा एंड इट इज सिचुएटेड इन मेक्सिको नाउ दिस प्लेस हैज अ पिरामिड कॉल्ड कुकुल केन कुकुल केन इज बिलीव टू बी अ सर्पेंट गॉड इन माया सिविलाइजेशन हु यूज टू बिलीव दैट होल वर्ल्ड वॉज फॉर कुकुल केन he taught how to run an entire civilization and how to make medicine to cure and treat injuries during the spring and autumn sun rays creates a shadow across the kukulkin pyramid the structure is over 30 meters long 26 belong to the 
platform and four to a temple located at the top of the pyramid in which we arrive through staircases that surround all sides of the construction. Each one of them is formed by 91 steps. Curiously, at the entrance of the temple, there is only one step. And at each set of 91 with this single step, we have the number 365, which represents the solar calendar of the Mayan civilization, called Tav, with 18 months of 20 days each. On the side, we find 52 rectangles symbolizing the week of the year and two equinoxes. In fact, in this same place, during the spring and autumn equinoxes in March and September, there is a projection of lights and shadows in triangular reflections that form the image of a... When someone claps in front of the staircase, the sound of the applause is heard and it echoes like the sound of Quetzal bird. Additionally, a clap in front of the Kukul Kane pyramid creates an echo resembling the serpent's chirp. How many of you love football? Many of you, I guess. This was a kind of game, ball game that was played in those days. It was called as Lachli. Now, where they used to put the ball in goal post, which is attached to the walls without using hand. But this is where perhaps the most gruesome ball game in the history of the world, which used to take place around 800 years ago. Why gruesome? Because two teams would be maneuvering the ball through a stone ring. And at the end of the game, one of the teams would be sacrificed. The ball, which was made of heavy duty rubber, weighed around four kilos so the team which lost the entire team would be either put in life imprisonment or hanged to death the reason they felt losers had no right to live very difficult to believe isn't it for a ball game death sentence chichen itza is an archaeological site which is rich in history and the center of pilgrimage for the mayan civilization for over 1,000 years. So children, here we again are to our next location. You can see the picture in front of you. It's called as a pride of Roman civilization. It is the largest amphitheater in the world. Any guesses? Where are we going? Excuse me, sir, the voice of your video is very low. Children Colosseum, it is in the famous country of Italy. It was constructed by 10,000 Jewish slaves under the rule of Emperor Vespasian between 72 AD and 80 AD. It is a 189 meter long. 156 meter wide and 50 meter high. For Colosseum, we are not going for an actual place because it's half destroyed, as you all know. We go back into that era where this place was in prime condition. Do you see that warrior's statue over there? Yes, they used to believe that that will protect the palace from invaders. Now children, let's enter to this palace, this beautiful palace. See, there are so many doors to enter over there. And children, this is the place which is called as the largest amphitheater. Welcome back to the era of 80 to 80. This is the largest amphitheater. Here, people used to play a lot of games, not the large, but the punishment was same. You've seen the movie Tanaji, where Mughal King used was playing chess games. It was similar to that. This game used to last for more than 100 days. It was 1847 AD and 1231 AD earthquakes, which destroyed this beautiful monument. Well, children, 
Our next wonder is in Jordan. And it's a world heritage. Can anyone tell me? Petra. Yes, Petra, Petra. Petra. Exactly. Very good. Petra. Very good. Petra. 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 Yes, children, we are in Petra now. I would request Petra. children to kindly uh, keep yourselves in, uh, muted after you give the answers, please. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, this city has been given the name the Rose City because it contains tombs and temples carved into pink sandstone and cliffs. So let's have a tour of the city quickly. Deep within Jordan's desert canyons lies an ancient treasure, the stone city of Petra. This massive, hand-carved metropolis provides a window into an ancient civilization. A hidden network of tombs, monuments, and elaborate religious structures are carved into the sandstone cliffs. Believed to have been settled as early as 9000 BC, it developed into a thriving capital of the Nabataean Kingdom. This culture ruled much of modern-day Jordan from the 3rd century BC until the 1st century AD. It's a three-hour drive from the capital city of Amman and two hours from the Red Sea port town of Akaba. Reducing Petra to a single day trip is a common mistake. The site spreads out over 100 square miles, four times the size of Manhattan. Spend at least one night in Wadi Musa, the closest town to the site, and plan your sightseeing as a series of steep terrain hikes. While donkeys, camels, and horse buggies can hasten travel time between highlights, most of the sites are best reached on foot. Life well, uh, Chilam Petra also means rock in Greek. And it is the most expensive traditional properties of men's traditional heritage. And if you wish to travel, children, you have to stay there for a day. And you will see the real beauty of Petra in the morning. And at night, it actually glows. Well, children, this wonderful journey of the seven wonders come to an end. And what is our takeaway? The seven wonders of the world is to see to hear, to touch, to feel, to love, and of course, to love and respect. Now, I would request Shivam, sir, to move on to the next segment of the program. Children, we're having a wonderful trip touring on land, but how about flying in air? Who are the Marvel characters do you know who can actually fly? Captain Marvel, 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 Captain those characters are fictitious. Sandeep, so can we actually fly in air? Well, uh, sir, as I believe, as per the law of physics, uh, gravitational force uh, does not allow us to fly in the air. <laughs> sir, can you explain what is gravity? Yeah, of course. Gravitational force, as all of us know, that it's a non-contact force. And of course, all of us know about Sir Isaac Newton and the story of the apple. Well, Newton's law of gravitation states that every body attracts every other body whose mass is directly proportional and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Mm, I think this is very much difficult to understand. But what if I tell you that we are going to visit some places on the Earth which does not hold gravity? In other words, anti-gravity. Sounds interesting, right? So Shivam sir, let us take to, uh, take our students to the tour where gravity does not take place. So tighten your seat belts and let's move. Is the name given to a gravity hill located in Lake Wales, Florida. The name alone has me intrigued as to what it's all about. What about you? Spook 
An optical illusion on this piece of road has cars appearing to roll uphill instead of down, essentially defying gravity. This attraction sits adjacent to Spook Hill Elementary School, which, as its name suggests, acknowledges the mystery within the area. Listed on the National Register of Historic Places, this hill has become quite famous. In fact, it's even appeared on the front of Wall Street Journal and CBS Morning News. Now that's famous. People travel from throughout the world to come and feel exactly what it's like to exist in this magical area. So it really works. That's crazy. This spurs folklore, curiosity, and storytelling, which makes the area even more popular. Spook Hill is one of the oldest known gravity hills in the country, and the only one known in the state of Florida, giving it its historic reputation. Storytellers say that this unique area was founded by a Native American tribe who were harassed by a giant alligator. They sent their strongest warrior chief to fend off the beast, and the battle ended with the death of the chief who was buried on the north side of the hill. The eerie nature and strange occurrences surrounding the place have led people to believe it is the chief's spirit haunting them. How spooky. Number 4. Electric Bray After finding the pretty little village of Dunor surrounded by ruined castles and heading south for just over a mile, you will come across a road that seems to descend for a quarter mile. It is known locally as Croy Bray, and is commonly known across the world as Electric Bray. The term electric dates back to a time when the phenomenon was said to be caused by electric or magnetic attraction within the Bray. Located in Ayrshire, Scotland, Croy Bray is an anti-gravity stretch of road that mysteriously appears to draw freewheeling cars uphill. While there's a slight slope upwards, the configuration of the land is where the illusion occurs. When standing on either side of the road, the slope seems to go the other way. This creates the illusion that a stationary car, sitting on the road with its brakes off, Student, so please mute yourself. Student, so do you see this car without a person? You have seen a movie, right? Cars and the Wonder Car. That is the only place where you see a car driving without a person. Isn't it amazing? Is moving slowly uphill. Rolling backwards or uphill. No pain. No engine. You definitely save petrol living in a place like this. Just turn your car off and let the road lead the way. Number 3. Cosmos Mystery Area The area known as the Cosmos is like a scene from a sci-fi movie. It is a place where the laws of physics have been disregarded and nature has gone completely berserk. The Cosmos Mystery Area, located in Rapid City, South Dakota, is one of the strangest locations in the entire Black Hills area. It makes people question where they stand and the lack of gravitational force. This topsy-turvy funhouse creates a world where excitement, mystery, and science combine. Oh, I feel like I'm one it contains many different areas that truly mess with one's mind. Through dozens of mystery areas, magnetic hills, and gravity vortexes, this funhouse tests and tricks your brain to question if gravity truly exists. Not knowing what way is up or what way is down, this trickery has been perceived as a paranormal force. But it's actually just your brain making a simple mistake. The cabin is built on a 20 degree tilt, not noticeable until you're standing amongst the chaos wondering what is going on. Number 2. Mystery Spot Ignis, Michigan. In the early 1950s, while this character, you know this person, right? Let me know at the end who is this person, okay? 
some surveyors were exploring Michigan's Upper Peninsula, their equipment suddenly became faulty, giving out incorrect readings. After some analysis, they discovered that the gear would only fail within a specific 300-foot diameter of land. Here, they discovered a mystery spot. In these areas, your brain tries to make sense of the strange way that gravity works, or rather does not work, within this space. Reported to have a physical effect on those who visit, with people feeling lightheaded and queasy, an optical illusion makes people look to be represented in a mysterious way. Objects and people appear to change both size and state. Tourism is high at the St. Ignis Mystery Spot, as many have experienced optical contradictions and physical sensations. <laughs> <laughs> the cause of this remains unanswered, but this fact just adds to the allure, with people flocking from right across the globe to check out the phenomena for themselves. Number 1. Hudson Bay Area, Canada Gravity's gone. There are no apples falling from trees, people float through the air, cars have no purpose, and we spend our days uncontrollably bumping into others. This would be a world I'm not quite sure I'd like to live in. In the mid-1960s, Canadian scientists discovered that parts of their country were missing gravity altogether. Two theories were issued. The first being that there was a high concentration of convection currents within the affected area's continental plates, therefore decreasing gravity. The other theory is that Bay, Canada, and other surrounding areas are a part of an indentation in the Earth caused by an ice sheet that covered the area over two and a half million years ago. It is believed that gravity will not fully recover in this area until the indentation slowly fixes itself. This area also plays a large part in history, as it was heavily militarized during the Cold War in which Soviet bombing raids occurred. Whatever the case, the anti-gravity zone does not require residents to nail their possessions to the ground to stop them from floating away. This anomaly attracts tourists from throughout the world, as it really is a gravity-defying area that has the research of scientists confirming it. Hudson has fascinated supernatural specialists for years, with the distinctive shapes in the ground proposed as extraterrestrial activity. The area is so fascinating that it would be worth a visit. Just be sure to keep both feet on the ground. If there's one thing we can almost always count on, it's gravity. This is what keeps our feet firmly planted on the ground. But imagine if it were to suddenly disappear without a trace. To take a Children, are you still at your place? How many of you are actually thinking to go to these places and discover anti-gravity? That's great. Now, children, we towed on land, we flew in on air. Now, can we dive into the ocean? We being Mumbai girls benefit a lot from the coast that's near to us. We are surrounded by so many beaches. So when you visit these beaches, do you take up any water sports? Like diving or parasailing? or scuba diving? No, miss. None? Ma'am, what about those who don't know? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. No, ma'am. Yes, miss. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma yes, miss, I have done. Yes, I have yes, done. Yes, miss, I have, I have also done. done. That's yes, I have also done. That's those of you have done. That's really wonderful. And ma'am, what about those who don't know swimming? Don't worry about them. We have the summer civil. And where are we going, ma'am? We are, let me introduce you to a place where till date only three divers have been able to reach and that is the Mariana Trench. Dive into the deepest parts of the ocean. Well, today you're going to have this opportunity. Now, how good are you at holding your breath? Not that good? Well, not to worry. Hop aboard my submersible craft and join me in the voyage to the depths. Ready? Ooh, let's dive. 
Right now, just below the surface, you see that life is thriving here. Fish and marine animals abound, and hey there, swimmers are waving at us. But we won't be staying here for long. Bye bye At 65 feet, there's a whole new world opening before your eyes. Shallow coral reefs are standing beautifully not far from the shore. And hey, there are people here again. It's scuba divers this time, though. What a pressure isn't kind to divers without special equipment. 130 feet is the depth where we say goodbye even to recreational scuba divers. It's the maximum allowed for them. Take care, guys. 200 feet, and here's the first orca. These whales inhabit the relatively shallow waters of almost every sea and ocean in the world. Did you know that they're the apex predators, by the way? It means they have no natural enemies, and no one can take them down. At 230 feet, we meet whale sharks, the largest known fish species, weighing up to 60 tons. And they're also quite long livers. Well, yeah, I guess their livers are long at that. But actually, it's about their life expectancy. They can live about 130 years. Now, look outside. If you're a scuba diver, it's a real pro. Because at 330 feet, they'll have to be very cautious not to get decompression sickness. It occurs if you rise too quickly to the surface. And if you're lucky, you can also see a giant Pacific octopus. It dwells in cool water starting this deep and going down as far as 6,600 feet. And now, we're entering the dark part of the ocean. At 490 feet, just 1% of the light from the surface reaches us. All the rest is absorbed by water. Everything that's deeper will get darker and darker still. Oh look! At about 660 feet, there's a giant oar fish circling our submersible. These creatures are believed to be the source of all sea serpent sightings and also a lot of alliteration. Sometimes they swim up to the surface and freak out sailors and swimmers. No wonder! These fish can reach 36 feet in length, enough to scare the heck out of me, for example. Okay, now we're at 980 feet, and wait, what's that huge and gangling thing out there? Oh, I get it, it's a Japanese spider crab. Why a spider, you ask? Well, just look at those legs and the answer will come to you without further prompts. By the way, there's almost nothing more to them than legs. The body of such a crab is normally just one and a half feet across. Going deeper now, and at 1,640 feet, you're going to see the last of the blue whales. No, not really the last of them. I mean, that's the deepest they can swim. They don't really need to dive that deep for food, which they have in abundance in shallower waters, but they still can. I guess it's just for the sake of showing how awesome they are. After all, they're the largest creatures in the history of Earth, both in the sea and on land. Shh, you hear this? Not children. If you speak in air, how far your voice can reach? For a certain distance to some meters. But, but how about traveling kilometers, miles and miles away? Is it possible? Yes, it is. When you go to that depth in water, this is possible. These are the sounds fin whales are making to talk to their friends many miles away. They can do this thanks to the SOFAR channel or deep sea channel that generally starts at 1,970 feet but can vary in depth. It's a layer of water where the speed of sound is at its minimum and sound waves can go thousands of miles before disappearing. At the depth of 2,723 feet, we have reached the point where the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, would not even show its tip on the surface if it were put underwater. Now we're entering the really interesting part of the ocean, where no sunlight reaches us and strange creatures dwell. One of those is the giant squid, yes, that legendary type. It inhabits the depths of 2,950 feet. Just imagine the creature with eyes the size of frisbees. Sperm whales hunt down these beasts, but they certainly can fight back. What a sight it would be to see such an encounter. And that's where pitch darkness finally falls on us the midnight zone. The pressure here is so huge that if you somehow end up being here without a submersible, well, you'll simply be crushed in a couple of seconds. And that without seeing a thing too. Mm, not the best of prospects. Anyway, at 3,600 feet, there's West Mata, one of the deepest ocean volcanoes in the world. 
Its last eruption was in 2009, and it was even filmed by a remotely operated vehicle. 4,200 feet down below, and we see the ferocious great white sharks. These ultimate predators feel great at such a depth. Their eyesight is rather poor, and they navigate by scent, so they really don't need sunlight to hunt down their prey. I don't see you, but I'll still eat you. <laughs> Also, the leatherback turtles, the largest turtles in the world, dive at the same depth. I wonder if they do it to tease the great whites. Oh, see those huge nets? That's because we're now at the depth of 4,900 feet, where the catch-all fishing method is used. The nets are here to be dragged along the ocean floor, catching everything unfortunate enough to be caught. I'll let you decide how detrimental this is to the ocean life here. At 6,000 feet, if we were in the Grand Canyon, we'd be sitting at its lowest and deepest point. Imagine that all the crevasses have been thoroughly filled with water, and you'll get the perfect picture. Now, if we're really careful, then at the depth of 6,600 feet, we'll be able to see the black dragonfish, a nightmarish creature that dwells in the deep and dark parts of the ocean. And trust me, it's better off staying right here. It looks like something from a horror movie, and I'd rather it never cross my path. At 7,400 feet, we'll be saying goodbye to sperm whales. This is the deepest point they can dive, and frankly, they have no real business at such a depth. Maybe they hunt the black dragonfish, of course, or it hunts them? Nah, the difference in size is too big. Sperm whales can reach 62 feet in length, which makes them the largest toothed whales in the world. Not many creatures can counter that. It's good that our submersible has a powerful floodlight. Without it, we wouldn't have been able to see the astonishing beauty of the deep-sea coral reefs located at the depth of 9,900 feet. They can be found in every ocean, and it's a pity they can't be seen without special deep-sea diving equipment. Okay, going deeper still, and at 12,100 feet, we reach the average depth of the world ocean. From now on, the journey into the real depths begins. The general ocean floor has been passed, so now it's time to delve into the abyss. I won't tell you not to be afraid because the scariest creatures of the deep dwell here, below the midnight zone. And it doesn't end there. The pressure on the upper limit of the abyss at 13... Do you know the pressure here? The amount of pressure? Everyone knows pressure the formula. Pressure formula is forced by area. But do you know, when you go deep into the ocean, the pressure increases. And the depth which we are right now in, at this point of time, imagine there are a bunch of elephants sitting, stamping on you. That is the pressure. 1,100 feet. It's like a whole regiment of elephants stomping on you. Not that you'd have the time to feel it, though. Now, at 15,000 feet, the monsters out of your worst nightmares pop up. Anglerfish, for example, will scare the heck out of anyone. Its long and crooked teeth, along with a growth on its head that lures the prey, is enough to instill fear even in the bravest. But perhaps even more terrible is the creature called the Black Swallower. It's an eel-like beast that has a very stretchy stomach, and it can swallow prey that's twice its size. Ah, uh, I don't know about you, but I'd rather switch off the lights not to see anything this deep in the ocean. What? You want to see it all? Alright, if you insist. Look down below, and you're going to see the deepest shipwreck ever found. SS which is the ship which the famous ship which got sink what is the name of that ship yes got it titanic right yeah. yes but if you want but children sir can i this say something children we'll, we'll talk yourself. about this we'll talk about this children we have a discussion Right now, you know this Rio Grande, this is the ship which got sunk into the deepest part. Rio Grande in the South Atlantic sunk in 1941 and went as low as 18,900 feet. No wonder it was only found 55 years later. 
And now the deepest and darkest part of the ocean begins. We're diving into the Mariana Trench. Officially, it begins at about 19,700 feet deep. It's both the least explored and the most fascinating area for the scientists and adventurers alike. What lies at the bottom of it? Well, we're about to see. But while we're not there yet, I'll show you something else. For example, here's the deepest fish ever found. It's called a snail fish. You know what? If you pass a light through them, no? the light will actually go on the other side. Their bodies are translucent. Everyone knows what is translucent, right? Yes, sir. Fish, and it dwells at 26,000 feet. Its body is translucent, so you can actually see right through its skin. Well, I must say I'm glad we didn't turn off the lights after all. This little guy is surprisingly cute for a creature that can withstand such pressure. Going lower and deeper, you won't see any other kind of fish or vertebrate animal whatsoever. The pressure is just too much for such creatures. But there are shrimps and other invertebrates, not to mention microbes, that can dwell even in the deepest part of the ocean. And that part is the Challenger Deep. It's the bottom of the Mariana Trench, and its depth is 35,853 feet. Yes, we've arrived at the very bottom of the Earth. Few people have been here, and very little is known about it yet. But scientists aren't going to stop, and there's hope we'll soon find out. It was a fascinating dive into the deepest part of the ocean. Impressed, aren't you? Now to add on to a few more facts, the Mariana Trench is named after the nearby Mariana Islands, which are named Las Marianas in honor of Spanish Queen Mariana of Austria, widow of Philip IV of Spain. The Mariana Trench is so deep that if Mount Everest, which is supposed to be the highest peak in the world, it is placed at the bottom of the peak, it still would be submerged and still 2,133 meter below sea level. The truly impressive fact of Mariana Trench is it has nothing to do with its length, but everything to do with its depth. Interesting, right? Today, we explored some fascinating facts and the mysteries of the world. This virtual tours ensure that learning doesn't stop. We have given you a small chunk today and we are sure you would research more. Ending of the virtual tours as a part of summer activities. Hope it had been enriching and fulfilling for you as it had been for us. Sir, sir, at the video, the man was telling that some people have been at the Mariana Trench. Yes. Sir, sir, at the video, the man was telling that some people have been at the Mariana Trench. Yes. Sir, but how they would have survived at so much high pressure? Sir, only three people only three people have went to the Challenger's Deep. Right. Yes, sir, but so how can they have survived in so ah. high pressure? See, children, they have gone in submersible vessel. Okay? And that is why uh, it is uh, it is said that so many people have dived, but till date, it is only three people who have been uh, able to reach there and uh, seen the uh, species around it. Children, you can lower all your hands so that when we ask a question, you all get a chance. So lower all your hands and then you again raise it. All the hands. Okay. Name the largest turtles found in the world. What is the name of the largest turtle found in the world, which is obviously found in Mariana Trench? You have seen it right now. Yes, may I? Yes, Harsh. Ma'am, leatherback turtles. Excellent. It is leatherback turtle, which is the largest turtle found in the world. 
Name the serpent which lives deep down and sometimes comes up to the surface and scares the sailors. What is it called? You have seen big serpent moving around and all of a sudden it just comes up. Yes, Anunay? This one I don't know. Yes, Divya. Divya Sharma. Yes, the answer is the oak fish. Yes, giant oak fish. Great. Can you name the volcano which erupted in 2009 in the Mariana West Trench? Mata. West Mata. West Mata. Good. So all of you have been paying attention. Over okay, to you, Shilam, uh, sir, for the question. Shall I? I have one question for the children. Okay, yes. Achilun, uh, can you tell me how many years did it take to build the Great Wall of China? 1800 years. 100 years. 100 100 years. Excellent. Years. Excellent. Very good, children. Very good. Very good. Okay. And uh, what is the nickname given to the city Petra? The Rose uh, City. The Rose City. The Rose City. Very good. Very good. Rose City. Rose City. Can you tell me why it has been given the name Any one of you? Okay, uh, Vivan, Vivan knows the answer. Ma'am, maybe because of its game, of the football game. No, Petra City, not for that. No. Runal, Runal, yes, Runal. Yes, miss, because of the pink, uh, pink sandstones. Excellent, Munal. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Rinka, miss, you can tell. Yeah. So, uh, what does Machu Picchu mean? Is settlement in the mountains? Yes. No. Yes, it was for astronomical purpose. What is Miss old what peak, is peak or old mountain? Old yes. peak old or old peak. mountain? Old. I'm old peak or old mountain. Yes, yes, yes. And what is the speciality about the structures that have been created there? The stone structures. What is the speciality there? No earthquake can affect it. Why? Structure. Because the stones have been clubbed in such a way that nothing can pass through them. Yes, not even a knife blade can, you know, come in between the stones. Okay, there's a technique that is known as ashlar. Okay, and that technique uh, is the stones are cut to fit in such a way that even mortar is not required to fit them together. Okay, yes. Shivam sir, over to you. Children, now about the Taj Mahal, what was the color which was there in night time? Now, children, uh, about the gravity uh, places. Okay? We talk about the gravity person. Is it what is it amazing? Gravity places, gravity less places. Cookie Hill. First is Cookie Hill. Second one is so the mystery spot. Bay. Electric mystery bay. Spot. Electric bay. Mystery spot. So the mystery spot. 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 Sir, it does not uh, have gravity. Sir, it does. Sir, it does not have gravity. Sir, it has gravity, but it is built in such an angle that it does not have gravity. Sir, we see that we are Germans. We are on a place where we are flying, and it lies on one edge of the Sir, it's an optical illusion. It's an optical illusion. The the place is built at an angle, right? Some degrees. That's the reason why you see it tilting. But does that mean gravity doesn't act? Gravity acts. It's not, there is no place where gravity doesn't see, act. It doesn't seem to be act, but it is there. But, but, there was a place. Remember Canada? Remember Canada, that place? Hudson Bay, Canada. Hudson Bay, Canada. Hudson Bay. Hudson Bay. Hudson Bay. Hudson Bay. So children, if I question you something, you know a weighing machine where you wear a mass, right? My question is, all of you know that mass and weigh, 
are two different things. They are not same, right? Every knows this. Yes, sir. So, no. what do we yes, actually sir. measure on the weighing scale? Is it the mass or is it the weight? Mass. Sir, it is the mass. The mass. Mass. I, I'll give you some time to think, and you know, let me know next time when your class, Sandeep, so you meet to Sandeep, so or me, anyone, you give this answer. You need what to do think we on measure this. on? It's not a simple question. What do we measure, students? Sir, what do we measure? Sir, Weighing machine or electric, uh, uh, this one electric electronic or, balance, electronic, electronic balance. balance. Electronic balance. Electronic okay, balance. formula for weight, yeah. formula for weight. Anyone yeah. want to calculate yeah. the weight yeah. of a body? Formula for the weight. What is the formula for the weight? How can I calculate my weight? Yes. Mass multiplied by mass multiplied by the gravitational force that is m multiplied by g. Mass of the body multiplied by the gravitational force gives gives me the weight of the body. W is equal to m multiplied by g. So, students, Hello. how was the session? How was the international uh, uh, first? Yes, miss. I have to say that I uh, I didn't uh, means I didn't uh, took interest in this uh, this one, uh, but I took yeah the interest in yesterday's one because it was uh, of our culture. And miss, I wanted to say that. Uh, Every culture, place is beautiful, but it's not beautiful than India. I want to say that only. Okay. Yes, Brunal. Yes, can I say? Brunal, yes. after Brunal, you can. Yeah. Yes, Brunal. Miss, I have a fact and a doubt. My, uh, my doubt is that, Miss, uh, where gravity doesn't work, the, the place is also going to hoover them, right? Sir? Yes, children, come again. Sorry, I can't hear you. Again, again. Uh, sir, yes, my doubt was that. Sir, there is one more place that does not, where gravity does not work, is, is also called Hoover Dam, right? Yeah, there, there are, are many, many places, such places. Many places, many such places. We only showed you the best five because there are many such places where gravity or we would say anti gravity works. Okay, so there are many places. Only the best five was picked up to show it to you. Yes, Divya Sharma, yes. And, uh, Miss, I also you. had a fact. Just wait a second, Runan. Yes, Divya. That the largest pyramid is actually not the pyramid of Giza, but it's actually the Cuatl pyramid in the southeast city of Mexico. Okay, now we have you we are using this uh, time to uh, give out our views, okay? How the session was, what did you learn? Okay, we'll keep the facts for a later time, right? And uh, how informative the session was for you all, okay? So if you have any views on that, you can share that. Mission, it's only one fact. Mama, I will... Please, please. Mama, I will read the session 100 out of... Everyone has a fact that uh, we cannot do that. Like, everyone cannot say that. So let's uh, hear it from Vivan. Yes, Vivan. Ma'am, my fact was that, ma'am, when the Atlantic and the... Okay, okay. No more facts. Thank you. This yes. session was interesting and fun. We heard many things, like, which we really didn't know. So it was interesting session for us. So which segment did you all enjoy the most? The first segment, that is the... Seven Wonders or the Grand the last one. In that, we got to know many things about our ocean. Yeah. And what does exist and at what length it exists. We get to know about that. Yes, ma'am. I also. That is a YouTube channel.
students students one by one aryana trends because yes, only about Yes, sir. Sir, we are. Uh, that is uh, the video. Is yes, Arav. miss. Miss, I like Mariana trends because we came to know about many new species uh, which we didn't knew far away. Wonderful! And who imagined that the ocean is so deep, right? Enjoyed, and you are excited, and uh, you have le really learned. That means the purpose with which we have made this small tour is successful. Okay. Good morning, Alokyo. Good morning, Preeti Miss. Good morning, Preeti Miss. Good morning, Good morning. and um, must appreciate your efforts and the guides. I must appreciate all four five guides, such as Mita Miss, Shivam Sir. First time I have heard him because we uh, we have never met. You know, <laughs> only introduction we have done. Yeah. Sandeep Sir, Sir Samita Miss. Ring you, Miss. Oh, wow! Amazing international tour operator. We have a guide. I would say rather amazing. They were explaining so well. I seriously enjoyed a lot your conversation, your explanation. Everything was very factful. I would say rather, and thank you very much, uh, children. I just would before I leave the meeting. I just would want to know. How many of you know about your Maharashtra, Mumbai, or Meera Road? Two or two are also uh, Samita Miss. Yes, If yes, sure. If you can organize Maharashtra, Mumbai, or maybe <laughs> local, yes, uh, some local. tour. It's a good idea. Time. We can uh, think about it. Yes, next time. Yeah, so. we can. Thank you so much for having me, and uh, with your permission, shall I leave? Thank you, Miss. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, thank you, Miss. Thank you so much for your time, Pritham. Okay, can we wind up? Uh, we would like Annie, ma'am, to share her experiences about the tour. Yeah, yes, of course, it was a wonderful tour, and the children thoroughly enjoyed. I was listening to their comments and their appreciation, their gratitude, their experience. So wonderfully, they were expressing. And the teachers, you have done a wonderful job, very, very well done. And children also were enjoying. They were answering, and you were asking questions in between. You were giving them information. So you stopped the video, asking them questions. You were asking them. Telling them this is what that means. Everything went off very well, and yesterday also it was good. Today also it uh, went off well, and um, such a, a tour we must arrange. I think uh, monthly or uh, during vacations or uh, during Diwali vacation also we will arrange for it so that children will need to know. Means when you teach history, that place you note down and keep, and then you It's make it a point. Yes, I will show these places to my children. It will be a first. Okay, Priyanshi, Ramola. Ma'am, I just wanted to say, and first of all, thank you all the teachers. Thank you, Ani, ma'am. Thank you, Seema, ma'am, for coming, and it was a really good experience. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Yes, uh, Krishnam Datta wants to ask a question. Yes, Krishnam. Ma'am, I just wanted to say a fact. Yes. Ma'am, first Egypt was covered with limestone, so that is why we could see uh, it from the moon. It was shining like a star in the earth, and uh, an earthquake earthquake caused uh, the limestone to fall from the pyramid. Right. Good, Krishna. Yes. Uh, who else has not asked? Arush. Arush. Yes, Arush. Arush. Yes. Ma'am, I like to visit fun and interesting places, and I also like to visit uh, ports. And today, the places which I saw were very, really very nice, and I enjoyed a lot. Thank Good, you. excellent. Pranshu. Yes, Pranshu. Yes, go ahead. Thing. Uh, Shivam sir to uh, showed us a man in the video, so he told that he is going to tell who was that man. Yes. 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 what is his name you've seen that character i don't actually remember i'll give you a hint i'll give you a hint it is one of the captain america's movie sir he was alexander pierce from captain america winter soldier 
Correct. That's right. That's right. Robert Redford. Correct. Correct. Thank you. Yes, Rinki, take the next question. Okay, I have actually no questions left for these students. They have outsmarted us all. <laughs> okay. So, okay. any place that you, uh, children you would like to visit? Like, I would like to really visit that house that, uh, uh, you know, we, we saw in that uh, gravity video. What's the name of the house, sir? Students will tell. Student knows is better. Yeah. Suhani. Let me know the place name. Was it, uh, sir, it was something mystery moves, uh, and uh, it was one more Shroom Street. Okay. Achoo. Sir, the cosmos. Correct. That's sir, the even cosmos. the Hudson Bay. Exactly. Both of them have the same thing. Right? Okay. Sir, I was having a doubt. Yes, I'm Sir, in uh, that Marina Trench, it came that Oscar. Uh, sir, it is also known as White Killer Shark. No, a uh, White Killer Whale. Correct. Yes, that is there. And sir, I was having a fact. Yes. Please sir, uh, that in Australia, the fastest gust of wind was recorded, and it was two fifty two or two fifty three miles per hour. Okay. Miss no, Ad, uh, no, and and sir, it was recorded in 1996. Okay, Anunay, one thing uh, I would like to appreciate, you are sitting in your background or your DP, it looks like a submersible vehicle, you are right into the Mariana Trench. So was this a planned <laughs> DP that you have created? The background is something of that sort? Yes, miss. Oh, miss, guessing. when uh, we were means uh, when we were going to Seven Wonders, I put off the plane. But now, when we were going to this uh, the Marina Trench, I put off somebody. Very good. Okay. So you. Okay. Uh, there is one question, children. If you can just tell me how many stairs uh, steps rather uh, do our great wall of China have? If you can just tell me how many steps. Does anyone know? Okay. Can you help me out? <laughs> okay, Krishna only wants to answer. 99. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, Krishna. I'm sorry. 5,000? Yes, 5,000. It's 5,000. Okay. So, 5,000 steps. Uh, how many of you would like to visit Great Wall of China? If you're not afraid of, about the haunted thing that I have discussed. Children? How many of you know one Chinese? You, Anunay, very good. And me, me too. Very good. Very good. Miss, to know the beauty of a uh, great wall of China. Everybody yes, say that and just the imagine, is great. Yes, and just imagine how rice floor was used and then by the prisoners or the peasants who had uh, told me. So just imagine how much, we, I mean, we are capable of doing anything and everything, right? Human beings, human brains. But we have to have that motivation. We have, we need, we should have that drive in us to do the same, right? So Anshi, hope you have enjoyed. Anshi, uh, she has been raising her hand for long time. Okay, okay, yeah. Anshi, Anshi. this is the last question we are taking. Anshi, yes, please. Ma'am, uh, you said uh, you asked that. Uh, uh, what do we know about Maharashtra and Mumbai? Can I uh, tell the highest peak of Maharashtra? Yes, it's Mount Kalsubai. It's exactly. one, it's a uh, one thousand six hundred forty-six meter or five thousand four hundred feet. Wonderful, wonderful. Very good, very good, very good. I had a okay. question. Let us put an end to this. Mom, miss, uh, miss, I miss just wanted to tell question. that we want to thank all of you in this pandemic. We felt that we are uh, really traveling abroad and in our domestic yes, places. Yes. Thank you so much, Anunay. So nice of you. It's share. all for, yes, it's all because of you all that we, ha we are motivated to show you the things, right? It's because of you all. Okay. So good day children, stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy the rest of the vacation. Okay, read. Children, read some books now. Shivam sir, you can put an end to the meeting. Thank yes. you so much, Samita Miss Rinki, Shivam Sandeep. Yes. Thank you everyone. Thank you.